Hey guys, Alex from Online Tarot with a new pick a card. Today we are going to do an update on the truth about this connection. Well, it may be an update, it may be not an update, it may be a new reading completely for a new group of people. Because you, whoever follows me for a while, you know that readings come through for different groups of people. It may be for you, it may be not for you. These three groups, these three piles do not cover all possible options. These are just three groups of people I'm connecting with today. So if it's not your message, please don't get upset. Check out my other messages. I have a lot of picker cards. I have monthly forecasts. Check them out. And... Um, or well, other amazing readers there are a lot of amazing readers on youtube and i'm sure one of them is resonating with you to the t today and for those of you who are going to resonate with this reading i would really love if you hit the like button subscribe all the usual guys stay tuned for more is coming and um you may also choose to follow me to the extended readings the link will be down below in the description box under the video you just need to open it and see all the information is there including how to get a private reading with me if you need one so um three piles we have pile number one yeah i'm going for this cute stickers here for you to help you choose for pile number one we have the foxy with some snacks with candies for pile number two we have a mouse with a tangerine and for pile number three we have a raccoon who's not eating but just being happy <laughs> so pile number one pile number two pile number three let me bring some more light again and I'm giving you a second to choose and I will see you with time stamps. Hey, those who chose pile number one with this foxy. Let's see the truth about this connection. What is okay? What is going on with you guys? We have Ace of Cups and Two of Cups together. And the Knight of Cups, Two of or Knight of Wands, Two of Wands and the king of wands here it seems like you you've met somebody um like a soulmate it's a soul level connection definitely very connected love is mutual here it's like a god guided love you know but it seems like this king of wands did something did something i don't know whoever in this energy it may be you it may be your person in this energy of king of wands the king of wands is somebody who is active energetic uh it's the one it's the doer not the thinker but somebody who gets what he or she wants uh reaches out creates businesses somebody very active but at the same time this person can be not uh not committed or not consistent and this action of this king of wands here created doubt created created um some kind of confusion and uh, a second option here two and two a lot of twos here let's see more let's see more for pile number one so foxy what are you going to bring us ace of cups one of you haven't been in so one of you have been might have been over investing another one was not investing enough and yeah we have five and five to and the moon of course so one of you created some kind of a chaos okay for the sake of the reading let's say they the other person created this chaos but energies can be swapped can be other way so also possible about your situation and please be honest with yourself if it is your situation don't try to make it yours no matter the outcome try to really find what message is for you so um, it seems like yeah you've been investing more than they are and you kind of saw it you felt it maybe you have uh, saw it in your dream but uh, either way you figured it out that the person is professing love to you and you love them deeply but their actions are not mm, coming together with their words it's like they are talking the talk but not walking the walk right and uh, you felt like you 
are they chose wrong or it was an illusion like all this you were question you were left questioning yeah this is what 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 happened you were left questioning whether all this love was an illusion all right let's see more let's see more for the again two of cups again what what's those who chose spell number one need to know about this connection what is the truth about this connection and it's like this big love this love that you thought was the true love ended okay yeah knight of cups and the death and the ten of swords here and one more i was shuffling and ace of cups jumped out this is very interesting shuffling because I'm nervous because this is um, this energy is making me kind of nervous you see guys it seems like whatever happened between two of you this ending that make you the situation that made you doubt if all of this was a lie if all of this was an illusion and this end is temporary for something new a new transformed beginning is coming this way because you have an ace of wands and ace of cups that jumped out you have you are going to have another go another try but this time it will be on a different level it will be different definitely okay let's see a little bit more and we will see the whole picture here what pile one needs to know i want to know more High Priestess again, Ten of Pentacles. Justice. And the Tower. Why the Tower? The Emperor. Hmm. King of Swords. So, guys, it seems like you have with these two high priestesses also energy of two a lot of two 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 it's a lot of moon energy energy uh moon is um has energy of two as well if you combine astrology and numerology so it seems like your connection ended to for both of you to transform and to come back again on another level on a different level for some of you this connection will change drastically it's like you think that this is a romantic one but it is not a romantic one and you're going to join forces um on a different in a different way but for others it will be still romantic but very different we have ten of swords and ten of pentacles here it's like you're coming to some new definitely new beginning new cycle and uh, some of you will be building something like maybe a business or some kind of foundation together um, for some of you this person definitely was kind of your ex your ex-husband or ex-spouse right because you've been divorced with this person and you um, and he or she is coming back suddenly unexpectedly on a different level but it is definitely someone from your past it's either your spouse or a partner somebody with whom you were in a very deep loving relationship and he or she is coming right out of the blue and it seems like together you um on on your own you you thought through this life experience this connection and so on and um analyzed it found some answers learned your lessons and it seems like by coming together you will learn more answers from your past more lessons from your past and suddenly you will see this person in a different light they will not be in a king of wands anymore they are coming here as emperor as emperor and king of swords somebody who is very thoughtful somebody who thought it through somebody wiser you know who grown up who matured who um is like sending completely different vibes 
I want more. I want more. I want a couple more cards for this. So what will be the outcome for this connection? What's it's like it's love, guys. Eight of Cups. What is going on with this connection? Justice. Oh, the, the Queen. Sorry, it's not the Justice. It's the Queen of Swords here in this deck. Mm -hmm. So, and one more. The Devil. It seems like your person is... Walk, mm, I'm not getting they're walking away. Maybe they're walking away from something. They're leaving something behind. But they're coming to you with this king or queen of swords. It's the, the, the cards and messages are not gender specific. They're coming towards you mm, after some a long time. A long time. This is a long overdue message. And... It is going to bring up a lot of issues in you, in you and in them. It's like you're coming together to solve this, to grow with the death card, the devil, seven of pentacles and seven of cups here to transform whatever is confusing you, has been confusing you. It's going to be triggering comeback. But through this solving those issues, you will have an opportunity to have a new beautiful beginning. Again, it won't be easy. It won't be easy. But it seems like you are a soulmate who came to learn some major lesson and you will have another go here with this. Well, this is intense and uh, I'm going to take this one to the extended to see more about the situation. What else uh, can we get here? If you feel like it is your message and if you feel like you're going to be triggered by this person coming back, but you really truly love them, you may choose to follow me to the extended. The link will be down below in the description box. But please, guys, make sure to follow me there only if you truly feel that this is your message, your situation. And thanks for everybody who's doing it. It really helps my channel going uh, well, when you are purchasing the extended readings from me. And I'm moving to pile number two now. Hey, those who chose pile number two with this cute mouse. Let's okay. Okay, aces right away. The truth about your connection is. Hmm. <laughs> we have ace of wands, ace of swords, the fool, nine of pentacles, and three of cups. I do feel like this may be a new connection or a new attempt with an old connection, but. For most of you who chose pile number two, it must be a new love. Brand new. Uh, I am getting though, for some of you, it's kind of maybe a friendship taken to a new level, to a new connection. It's kind of you, you are exploring this new opportunity here, this passionate, but also you have honesty between two of you. It's like a clear cut, new, passionate beginning. You're really enjoying your time together. You're really kind of open and explorative, you know, kind of ready to explore this, to learn, to, to, um, to enjoy it together. And with this nine of pentacles, it seems like both of you are rather independent people, strong people. And, um, uh, uh, you are not in a hurry to get tied down, you know? You are enjoying things, you are... Some of you are just plainly fooling around, but it's mutual. Both of you know what you're doing, or at least you think you know what you're doing. Let's see. Let's see more about pile number two. Have temper... Okay, so many aces, come on. Yeah, we have the new year, we have new beginnings, for sure, we have new people, new things. So for some of you, why well, we have this, okay. I want one more. Oh, so many swords. Uh, for some of you, you definitely knew this person before, uh, but you were kind of friends or maybe co-workers and you um, were not ready to explore this 
passion and love that you have um, between um, two of you and you just doing this because this is mutual and super passionate but you're trying to keep it cool you know you're trying to keep it cool both of you it's very similar energy definitely yes soulmate level energy soulmate level connection and um, we have three of swords eight of swords and the queen of swords you're kind of keeping it cool and like you may be keeping it casual because both of you are afraid of being uh, left heartbroken that's why there is some fear some um, self not self sabotage but you're stopping yourself you're being coldish here with each other not, not that coldish but kind of telling each other that oh you don't want anything more serious we're doing it casually we're just enjoying just having fun but while well, we have three aces here and uh, the soul soul level connection let's see let's see more what else can we get for pile number two for this connection I am getting union okay two temperances you might have been waiting for a long time um, to have such a connection or you've been waiting for a long time before you took it further to the next level okay sorry they're trying to run away my cards no no way somehow okay we have this queen of wands for the sake of your reading let it be you but the energies can be swapped it can be your person it seems but um it seems like you are disappointed you are disappointed in family life you feel like you maybe you've tried it before and it didn't work out it didn't work out and you feel like mm, it might never happen for me again I don't know what happened you separated or you lost somebody before and you feel like I'm done playing with fire I'm done trying to um, build a life with somebody but uh, that's why you are afraid of being left heartbroken again it is definitely again for those for whom pile number two is resonating that's why you're trying to be this queen of wands mm, not getting committed not getting committed but your soul kind of wants different things we have the soul here and it wants love it wants pure love with the ace of cups here like and uh, inside even if though you're denying it you're hoping you're hoping because you have very caring and loving nature and there is healing coming here it seems like the situation is bringing you healing with this page of cups here okay let's see the outcome what's the outcome for for this connection healing for the um for something that didn't work out that didn't come through before Five and five we have the world and we have ten of cups guys it's a choice it's a choice for you this situation is giving you a choice this connection is giving you a choice you can accept healing yes you see it's like you feel like you've lost with this five of swords and five of swords again you've lost your chance of having a home a life a family something like this you've lost your hope for having it and you still have a choice are they sticking you see we have two of pentacles it's a choice sticking with this five of energy of five scarcity mindset pitying yourself uh, punishing yourself whatever you're doing or ending it because we have the world you can end the cycle this with the fool and the world this is a new opportunity for you to heal to go forward to have happiness to be happy are you going to take this opportunity because it is an opportunity and it is a choice for you nobody will make this choice for you nobody will give you guarantees no tarot reader no healer no psychic no therapist no nobody will give you guarantees 
there's no guarantees that's that's the beauty and the trick of life you know so it's up for you to choose you can put a complete end to this past cycle and start a new beautiful beginning with this person or you can get stuck with your pain with your loss with your failure whatever it is for you and continue like this up to you but I'm going to take this to the extended and see more about this situation what you need to know about this connection and uh, if you choose to follow me the link will be down below and I'm really thankful for everybody who is doing it it helps my channel going thank you and I'm moving to pile number three now hey those who chose pile number three with this happy raccoon let's see what can we get about your connection <gasps> We have only four cards. I forgot the fifth one. Let me get the fifth one. Okay, this one. Hmm. Today we're speaking about soulmate. I want one more. Ten of swords. Wow. Definitely. All three piles are about different but soul level connections. We have five of cups, queen of wands, four of swords. Emperor, Six of Cups and Ten of Swords here. Four of Swords and Ten of Swords. It seems like, yeah, Queen of Wands again. At the moment, I am getting inside about that this is at the moment. You are not in contact with your person. It is put on hold. You've been not talking, not communicating, maybe praying that it will happen they are not budging not reaching out to you but you feel like this is your soulmate and you feel really really upset and sad and um hurt some of you even feel physical pain like your psychosomatic is working this way that you're getting sick or you're not feeling well or maybe you're feeling fatigued something like this here for pile number three so you really, really need some rest and some of you really need to see a doctor. I'm not giving medical advice here, I will put it like this. But um, I feel like some of you just really, really need rest and maybe need some help because you feel like you, with this queen of wands is not feeling right, mm -mm, not feeling right. You feel like you have no, no more energy to move, you are too stressed you can't operate really well and i'm feeling it so uh if you know you will know who i'm talking about if you know that this is your situation please maybe check visit your doctor okay maybe he will prescribe you some vitamins and something but please rest you really need your energy let's see more about this pile number three about this connection I am getting that here for a couple of you. You've lost a person, like lost, lost, like they died. I'm really sorry about that. If it, it's resonating with you, you healing, then maybe you need the help of a therapist. You really need some support. You really need some energy. For those of you who didn't lose this person this, this way, it felt like you are dying inside because with this ten of swords and the death card together and i am getting the energy of you really really hurting like really really hurting and you may get stuck you may got stuck in this energy it's like you've been building you're out of a connection maybe marriage long-term committed relationship you've been building it and then something reads it out of existence and you're not letting yourself rest. You're fighting this rest back. You are trying to make yourself busy and you're exhausting yourself even more. And it seems like your person has already started their life and you, they started, they have their new beginning. And you know about it. And it's hurting you even more because you don't understand how can it happen because you feel like you are soulmates by the way if you are soulmates it doesn't mean that you have to stay together forever we come here to teach each other lessons and sometimes it 
comfortable it doesn't mean that we are in a loving relationship forever sometimes it can be very harsh lessons but yeah like this five of cups and five of pentacles pile number three you it feels like there is somebody else your person your person is moving forward starting you you know you know if and you know about it it's confusing you because you don't understand how can it happen because you are soulmates you you, you feel it so this is for those who know about the third party about the new per it's not the third party but about the new girlfriend or boyfriend for your person okay I want to see more first what's the outcome What's the outcome for this situation? Okay, big cards. Well, it seems like your Yeah, guys, I'm sorry. I am sorry. Your person is starting a new life here. And he or she may be moving away, moving, moving somewhere. I'm getting moving back for some of you. And it is confusing as hell for you. But you will learn, you will have this information, you will know about it soon. You will kind of... Mm, that's why we have this Ten of Swords here also again. It's either they've been in the third party and now they're getting like moving in together or going somewhere together with this person and it's going to be not very pleasant for you to know. But either way, they're starting life and you with another person. Let me see. Temperance. We have temperance. We have King of Pentacles. We have Six of Swords. Why the King of Pentacles here? Just give me a second trying to clarify. Hangman. And the Chariot. Uh, with time. With time. Guys, you really need some rest. You really need to take care of yourself. Please do that please do that if somebody is not seeing your worth it doesn't mean you're worthless it doesn't mean that at the slightest we all are wrong for the wrong people we all are not good enough for the wrong people so you will find your healing you will find your healing and you will see your worth you will be able to move forward and you will be able to see the situation in a different light and with this chariot and the six of swords there will be definitely you will be moving away oh it's, it's not the chariot but for me i'm getting the energy of chariot it's the knight of cups here you will be moving away and you will have a new opportunity new love coming for you but this will be uh, a very abundant offer i am getting a very abundant offer really really and for some of you it's like i it's really weird maybe for some of you it will be a theme like a mermaid prince something like this but uh just maybe creative creative person and a person that's going to bring more love and abundance for you and there will be changes um with time you will start to see this information in, in, in situation in a very different light in the very you will see how valuable a lesson it was uh, though it's very painful for you right now. Well, um, this is it about the situation. But I'm going to take this one to the extended to to see more about this new offer that's coming your way. If you feel like this is your situation and you're interested in this new, in this mermaid print. <laughs> Let's see. I will check it out and the link will be down below in the description box. Guys, you are never alone. And please take care of yourself. Take care because sometimes the most painful situations are truly the most valuable lessons that we can get in our life. And uh, really, time is needed 
to be able to see it from a bigger perspective it's like when you are in the middle of a situation you can't see it the whole of it you need to step away step make a step back to be able to see the whole situation and what it brings into your life and this means time so if you need help go get help if you need rest go get rest please take care okay and um, see you soon with my other videos they're coming Bye, guys.